This video will show how to create a corbel connection uh, between the column and the beam with a variable height. Okay, first uh, we can add the beam here. If you notice here, uh, uh, there is a profile with the variable height of the beam available in the system. Uh, you can go to the uh, database and then you can see here variable profiles and here you can see here uh, OBL RID okay so you can specify the uh, uh, parameters here and then apply and then pick from the top of the column and to the other column and then you have now this uh, uh, variable height of a beam uh, but the thing is with this uh, uh, kind of profile okay if we want to add this uh, uh, corbel connection from our system component if I click column and then this beam it doesn't work so you will not able to create the corbel automatically using our uh, system component so in this case uh, the best thing you can do is just simply uh, create it manually so just sim I will just uh, show you this one quickly so we can uh, create the uh, the view uh, for this uh, beam and then from here I can just simply create a slab here and then pick one and then two and then uh, let's say here I'm going to have a 200 and then control and then click and then another 250 and then middle button of your mouse and then I have now the core bell and then I'm going to cut the beam with the variable height so I can uh, go to this edit uh, fit part end select the beam and then press control and then click and then here I can add here an, uh, something like a 10 millimeter uh, clearance and then cut it so this one now is a uh, the fitting of our uh, uh, beam to the column and then all I have to do is just simply uh, change the width of this column to let's say 400 and then change this color to 13 and then I can just simply add to cast unit and then this one will be a part of the column so this is how you're going to add it uh, manually if you are going to use the uh, uh, profile from our uh, default database, which is uh, OBL RID, okay, so it's manual. Now the other way is you create your own beam with a variable height. So you can create your own. Um, so to to create that one, uh, we can just simply uh, go to the catalog and then define profiles and then here uh, define cross section in sketch editor and then I can just simply create a, a rectangular beam here using my sketch editor and then here I'm going to do this uh, add coincident constraint to connect and then make this one as a straight one straight horizontal and then straight vertical and then add this uh, sketch horizontal distance or let's say vertical first which is the height so as you can see I have 1350 it's too big I can just simply say this one is uh, 500 and then the width of the beam is I'll say this one is uh, 400 okay so I'm going to show this one show and then save or close and then would you like to save the sketch of course yes and then we can type here uh, YouTube okay click OK so my profile name is YouTube 500 by 400 but the thing is this YouTube 
500 by 400 is just a normal beam so if you go to my uh, if you go to our uh, database here I will type YouTube filter and then you can see here YouTube so 500 by 400 apply and okay so this one is just a normal beam okay but it's parametric okay so now all we have to do is just simply uh, copy this column and then I'm going to create the uh, the beam that we have created as a variable height with a reach okay so to do that one uh, I can go to my catalog and then uh, go to this define profiles and then here you will find the define profile with variable cross section and then look for the YouTube this one and then click OK so as you notice here this is your uh, uh, YouTube one and then YouTube two if you notice uh, YouTube one this is the end the uh, the start and then this is the end so now we not we we want to add the uh, 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 what do you call that the section at the middle so in that case as you as you will notice the YouTube one here you will find the YouTube one location is zero and then it varies only to zero and then YouTube two location is one so enable for us to add a uh, value at the middle we need to add another uh, section here so just click add and then you will have YouTube 1 YouTube 2 which is this end and YouTube 3 is also this end now YouTube 2 we need to change this one to uh, the location at the middle so instead of uh, uh, one here at the YouTube 2 location I'm going to change this one to 0.5 so that will be at the middle so YouTube 2 location it becomes at the middle and then I can just change the height here which is uh, YouTube 2 H1 so from 500 I will change this one to 1000 so now I have the reach on this particular uh, element okay so everything uh, is shown so all we have to do is to save it so once you finish this you can now uh, save or save us to uh, let's say uh, um, YT taper and click OK so close this one and then say yes so now from uh, from our profile beam profile we can now go back to the uh, uh, database or profile database and then we type here yt taper filter and then here as you can see we have now the uh, the new profile which is the the yt taper okay apply and okay so all you have to do is to pick this point and this point and there you go so we can now simply adjust this one from our uh, uh, front here let's say we'll put 600 or maybe we'll put negative 500 there you go so once you have this um, uh, beam with a variable height uh, we can now use our Corbel connection just simply click on this one or just simply uh, open the uh, um, the component and then you can select the uh, desired uh, core bell and then apply and okay and then pick the column and pick this beam and then there you go so automatically you have the core bell now so pick column and beam so that one works if you create your uh, sketch parametric profile with a variable height of the beam Okay. we can adjust also the corbel let's say we want the uh, rectangular corbel let's say this one is uh, 400 modify or if we want the corbel to be uh, if we want to cut the beam so we'll add here 200 and then modify so we can still cut that
okay so this is the uh, uh, beam with the variable height and connection to column using the Corbel connection thank you